Right, go ahead and record it now. Yeah. Get your stool. It's going to look silly though. Sorry? <laughs> yeah, but when you, you sat down, so when, the, when, you, when you sat down, you still were your heart. <laughs> Why am I so massive? Just a big girl. Let me have the chair. <laughs> Perspective, like that. Now we're the same. We don't look like we're together. I can sit on the arm. Um, sit on <laughs> Santa's lap. Oh my god. That's all right. We can't chat like this. I have to just angle it. This is not professional. It's fine. Hello. So what we what we talking about? <clears throat> we have an announcement. But it's nothing that special. No, it's not. I wouldn't get your hopes up. We have had some changes and some. We've made some big life decisions lately, haven't we? Yes, but they're also not that big. Yeah. They're big, but not that big. Okay. Let's let's take it. First of all, should we say our names? We're not very good at this. Hi. <laughs> if you've stumbled across this video. We are Dan and Harriet Aldridge. What do they need to know about us? So we're Dan and Harriet Aldridge. We've been, to, how long have we been together? Almost 11 years. Yeah. We've been married for almost three. Um, we have a daughter called Oakley, who is one and a half. And we have spent the best part of almost 10 years um, working online in some way, shape or form. And was it just before Christmas we started having conversations? We're doing like our vision board and stuff. Well, every winter, every winter yeah. of our whole life, we, we get depressed of this weather. I think everybody in England does. Yeah. Okay, so that is, that's background knowledge, isn't it? Like every winter we talk about like fleeing and moving towards the sun and we just have never really done it, have we? And it's one of those things, if it keeps coming up, you should probably do it. Yeah, we were having this conversation before Christmas, the same conversation we have every year about hating the English weather and just feeling like, you know, we would love the idea. I feel like we're just, we're not getting to the point really, but we have always toyed with the idea of living abroad, yeah. with maybe having a holiday home, um, all those sorts of things. This really is kind of like maybe our last chance before Oakley goes to school or before we think about having another baby or like all those things. So we're going um the bags are packed so they're down by the front door yeah the house has been super cleaned um and we are off for one to two months we don't really know do we we know it's a month 100 percent a month 100 percent a month it might be two it could be three we, we don't know we're gonna see it definitely would be three i don't think we don't know we don't know though but we don't we know don't how know. we're gonna feel back in December, January time. She spoke to our letting agent and we said, you know, could you maybe put the feelers out there and see if there are any families that need a short term let? Obviously, it's such like a it's like a niche thing, isn't it? Yeah, who wants um, to rent a house for like two months? Yeah. And preferably furnished. Yeah. <laughs> um, so she was like, Yeah, she like rang around a few people and nothing came of it. So we were like, hmm, okay, like that's a shame, but we tried. Um, and then out of nowhere, we got talking to a family who were in a very unique position, who needed something really flexible, who wanted to move in from anywhere from like a month to two months or whatever we were comfortable with. And this was 10 days ago. So ten up until 10 days ago, we had no plans to make this happen. Yeah. We got a message, we had a bit of a chat, 10 days later... So we just thought, we thought it was a bit crazy. We thought it was a bit mad. And we actually said, are we doing this? Didn't we? Like, are we actually doing this? And there was lots of back and forth. So there was a few times where I backed out, wasn't there? Well, you, you didn't know if it was going to happen. Yeah. Or like, yeah. I so sure. it's really weird. The last 10 days, I've been really quiet on social media. I feel like I've been living in a parallel universe to everybody else, simply because my mind has been so preoccupied. I've, I think we both have been living off adrenaline. Well, we've booked six flights and we've got to book two more. We've booked multiple hotels. hotels yeah. Um, so it's been nuts behind the scenes. Last night we booked a, a boat from one island to another. Yeah. It's just craziness. You know, travel insurance, airport parking, like, there's so many things to think about. And then we've had to remove all the personal items from our house. Um, and we've had to sort our cat. I feel like that's going to be a question. Where's the cat? The cat is um, staying temporarily with a neighbour um, who's very kindly taken her in. 
there's just been so much to sort. It's been all consuming. Like we've been waking up at four, five, five a.m. It's just like our brains have turned on. You know, this endless to-do list, and so it's yeah, it's been. So this video is like a bit of a conclusion to where we're at. Yeah. Um, and what we'd love to do really is document the whole process and document our travels so that you guys can come along with us. Because it's going to be one hell of a learning curve for us as well. We're doing yeah. this with a 19 month old baby. Yeah. Um, and it's going to be madness, but we're also going to learn a lot, which we can help you guys with. Um, travel tips, travel hacks, flying with a baby. You know, we've yeah. got a seven hour flight tonight and then another nine hour flight tomorrow, tomorrow night. Yeah. Um, so it's going to be crazy, um, but we cannot wait just to sort of showcase this. Yeah. And the reason why we're doing this is because life is just too short and... Um, We've got this window of opportunity. We've had this opportunity come up. Okay, yeah. we'll be going to schools next year and stuff. So and if there's another baby, then that's off the cards. So this is our literal time to to do this. Yeah. So we are. Yeah, and we've we've talked for years about do we start a YouTube channel? Because it's a big commitment, isn't it? And also we just don't know if we'll be any good at it. And does anyone even want to watch our videos? That's well, the podcast went down quite well. We had a hundred oh, views. Yeah. And the thing is, <laughs> we enjoyed doing the podcast, but the problem is, is we do argue quite a bit over stuff like this, and we, we bicker a lot. Well, the reason why the podcast came to the end was because I was not functioning on, like, three or four hours sleep. Yeah. We are getting six or so now. Yeah, we are. Um, so, I mean, we argued just before we went live in this video over who was sitting on the chair. And now we're both on the chair. Now we're both on the chair. Yeah. Um, yeah, so we've always toyed with the idea and we've never really done it because we don't want to like overcommit ourselves and not be consistent and like start something that we can't stick to. But we feel like this is such, you know, we've spent hours YouTubing, you know, traveling with a toddler, traveling to these countries, tips for here. And although there were, there were helpful videos, we also felt that there was a lack of knowledge out there. So we thought, why not? create something and also just to be able to document our memories of Oakley. Mm -hmm. So what, are the, what is around. the plan? Are we going to tell them what the plan is? Uh, or are we going to well, say stay tuned? We are flying to Dubai tonight as just a stopover, um, literally for less than 24 hours we're going to be there, um, just to break up the journey for Oakley really. And then we're flying a further nine hours um, the following day to... Bali. Bali. We've, we've been, been there before. We've been before, but it was in 2016 and life was very different then. And obviously we didn't have Oakley. So we absolutely loved it then. And we're going back and we're sort of visiting a few different islands, different places that we've not been to before. Some of our trip is booked and organised and some of our trip isn't. So watch this space because we still don't know some of the destinations we're going to be going to. Um, that, it's just so exciting. It's such an adventure. And I feel like for us... We've been working online for many years now and we are very fortunate and we, we're, we're very grateful for that. We're very fortunate that we have time, freedom and flexibility to work our own hours and we aren't tied to a certain place. And I think this is why every year we do have that conversation about... We that. can, so why not? I know. And we're almost yeah. annoyed at ourselves that we haven't done it. We would have done it before, but COVID hit. Then we got married. Then we had Oakley straight away. And so like this kind of, like you said, feels like our ultimate like opportunity to just do it and the fact that this family um also were in a similar situation where they needed something very temporary and very flexible it just felt very like it was meant to be mm -hmm. the house is taken care of the cat's taken care of we might be mental traveling with a 19 month old but we'll let you know you'll see we'll on the next video you know. of how traumatic it is well. yeah. we're excited this is the first of many videos but if you've been wondering what we've been up to why we've been a little bit quiet that is why um, we are off on our travels, we're going to be working as we go, exploring the world and, and do you know what, I think even though Oakley probably won't remember this trust be ingrained in her and it will be, like we would say, these are her most formative years when they're little and I feel like she's going to be so much more resilient, so much more like adaptive, she's going to like meet different people, different cultures, she's going to be exposed to the world um, at such a young age that I just think it's well, like, my, really my, my my parents did it for me and it shaped who I am yeah um, and then when I you know going on planes for me is like catching buses it's not a big deal mm. um, so she'll just feel like flying around jetting off here then everywhere is just normal yeah um, and that's a, a great way to live having that mindset of where should we go this time and like yeah. packing up and flying anywhere you want without any you know fear or um, restrictions really resilient and yeah just, yeah 
So we're very excited. Um, if you have any video requests, anything you want to see, anything you want to know, um, do let us know in the comments and um, I guess stay tuned for the next video. I think we have to do the whole um, subscribe to us. Oh gosh. Just subscribe to us otherwise you won't see any more. Um, if we, if we no. don't ever post again. <laughs> yeah, this might be the last one. Might um, be the first and last YouTube video we've ever but made. But yeah, subscribe because we, it'll make us feel good if we have 10 subscribers. Yeah, thanks. Yeah. Might be more than the podcast. We, we had about four listeners. No, we did. We, we <laughs> beat ourselves up about that. It wasn't too bad. Anyway, we'll see you on the plane, shall we? See you on the plane.